And what I mean by this is when I roll a dice, right, that outcome is not going to impact the next dice roll. But that's not necessarily true for something like a stock's price, right? Maybe there's insider information that once released is going to cause a massive uptick or a massive downtick in price. That's why insider trading is illegal, right? Because that information predates the impact in price. But with something like a dice roll, any information that I give you is not going to impact the outcome. So when we roll a dice, we're dealing with independent draws from the same distribution where no amount of conditioning on any information is going to change the distribution. But this is not true when we're dealing with a random variable or treating something like a random variable, like a trading signal. We're trying to approximate this theoretical distribution, but if I condition on information, that theoretical distribution is certainly going to change. Not just change with information, but change over time. This is why it is a very difficult problem in reality. So very important topics to keep in mind in the reality of approximating a theoretical distribution like a trading signal.